Hello and welcome to round two. We won the dire roll, which is pretty nice in our deck. And we got one land. Whew. Now, if this was an island, I could maybe think about keeping, but... Oh, jeez. Looks like we're going to five. Yeah, there's no way I can keep this hand. They mulliganed as well, which is nice. Okay. This this has the capacity to win. Um, third land. Hmm. How likely is it that I flood with this hand? I'm gonna bottom this land. Most of my spells cost two. And they win bottom as well. Okay. Swamp. We got our one three coming out. <laughs> Good thing we bought on the land, huh? Okay. All right. Well, we can we can attack with a one three flyer on turn three. <laughs> if they hit, we're probably just better off keeping it back on defense. Sadistic Sky Marcher. Flying lifelink. That seems good. It's a good card. Make a token pass turn. Three toughness is pretty big here. So yeah, I guess we're gonna get the flying lifelink dude. What vampire? Voracious vampire. Plus one plus one in menace, okay. So no attacks. And then we can give cobbled wings to our sworn guardian. So we don't start taking damage in the air. And just gonna pass turn. Okay, still no good attacks. Probably will double block Seeker Squire if they attack. It depends on what they voracious vampire. Probably just gonna pump the Sky Marcher because lifelink. Yeah, but that's just a one time deal. So I can't block because it has Menace. And let's see. Jadecraft Artisan. I really have good double blocks against most of my guys. I think I'd actually rather play Git Grove Stalker here. I can start attacking next turn. And it can't be blocked by anyone on their whole team. Uh, keeping back the flyer to block their flyer, and the menace guy I can double block. Okay. So a plus one plus one trick kind of owns me. But that's okay. If they have the your team gets plus one plus one, that's gonna be gross. Alright. Oh, and they killed the worst one. I like that. Ruthless knaves. Make some treasures. Sacrifice three artifacts. Draw a card. Okay. Oh, he can block my stalker. That's rude. That's a good card. A very good card. We're just gonna start drawing cards here. Yeah. Don't kill him. Exile target creature. Wait, that's the same as the other card. I didn't even know that was a card in this format. So we can draw a dive down. Is this card worth a lot? Apparently the card's worth a lot, so that's nice.
hoping like 50 bucks or something absurd. $17, that's not bad. Alright, so they're attacking. Um, we can just block, it doesn't really matter. I guess if they have a pump spell, they're more likely to pump the lifelinker than the 2-3, so... Slightly more value. And I think here I need to play the Mistbinder. To pump my team is pretty good. Now I have decent blockers overall. I can hit for three. Yeah. Okay, what you got? More removal? Blah! The Chupacabra? Okay. Alright, I'm going to double block their 3-2, I think. So that still lets me keep my 1-1. One, one. And then my 3-3 three, three is going to be a decent blocker later on. Alright, let's hit a land. Ugh, oh, dive down, where were you before? Alright, hopefully this guy can hit a land so I can equip Cobbled Wings. There we go. Uh, so land first, then this dude. Actually, do I want to equip Cobbled Wings? I can just dive down. I take two more flying damage. Hmm. Nah. I'll just keep this guy back to block. Chupacabra is a great, great, great card. Do you have two? Chupacabra. Two chup. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well then. It's a four five. So I'm drawing a random creature and then a land. Uh so I can actually Oh jeez, no, quad blocking that just loses all my dudes. I guess I block their flyer and take six. That's rough. Next turn we can double block with the Jadecraft Artisan and the Riverwise Augur. Pump doesn't really matter because I can't attack anyway. Because I know I'm just drawing a land next turn. Yeah. I'm like, 0% to win this game, well, I'm not 0%, my opponent like really, really punts, maybe I can lose this, win this game, but uh, this is going to be tough. Okay, no tax is good, so we're drawing a land, we can play this dude, keep a land in hand to bluff, and I guess I equip Cobbled Wings to something. This guy? 
Still not quite ready to attack yet. <laughs> Problem is most of my good cards are dead. <laughs> I don't really know what I have left here. That is a very good card. Um, so I can hit them for two in the air. Because I need to start attacking at some point. I'm just assuming they have nothing. What a nice city's blessing emblem. <laughs> Um, I guess we'll keep a flying blocker here. Am I coming back? Holy cow. That's a really good card as well. Um, hmm. So River Herald's boon plus dive down can make this just eat the Seeker Squire. So I can hit for four. We're going to crawl our way back into this. After they gain so much life. <laughs> Alright, I need them to brick like maybe a couple more turns. And we have, we have a shot. That's all. I was not at 0% to win. Sanguine Glorifier. Okay, so that makes it a 5 6, which is kind of annoying. Oh, it's not a vampire. Okay, it's just a random 3 3. All right. Holy cow. All right, now we can start getting somewhere. So how do we block here? This is Merfolk. So we can attack with these two for four. They swing back this eats this, this eats this, yeah, okay. Hit for four. Pass turn. Interesting. I'm gonna block here. River Herald Spoon him and Oh, hang on. I gotta do the ordering otherwise. These two guys. Target creature gets minus two, minus two. You gain two life. So I think I can just dive down that. Uh, actually, I can just counter that straight up with the River Herald's boon. It just makes this guy huge.
Now it's a 4 4. Now you're gonna die. And now we still have dive down to block. Play a land. Attack for five. And I think we're doing it. It's a good one. Attack for five again. Play deeper waters. I'm gonna move cobbled wings over just in case they have any flying nonsense. Three, four, flying, okay. Whew, that's a good card. So, I can hit with my six, six and my three, three. No, that doesn't force them to die. I, I think I'm just doing just fine like this. Hitting for three and then passing. I could just bounce their four or five when they attack with it. Good card. Hit for three again. And then next turn we could just go for lethal by bouncing their shining aerosaur. Fortunately not a merfolk to trigger deep root waters, but that's okay. So we try and bounce their dude. We can go for lethal now. We've dived down to save our guy. Holy cow. All right, well, that's brutal. Dive down, can't protect from that. Um, doesn't matter, I guess I'll go to Axe Proof, guys, so we don't just die to haste nonsense. Holy cow, that was brutal. Why did I attack with both? <clears throat> okay, they have a lifelink, dude. We need to start playing fast as well. And that guy's just going to start whittling down our force. Yep, it's a land. God, I have no good blockers for that guy. And they have six life gain. Wow. With one spell, we got wrecked. I did not think to play around and settle the wreckage. Whew. 
Whew. We're going to deck first. Yep. Okay, they lose a life. I'm okay with them losing life. Oh my god. Alright, I think we're actually going to lose this game. I don't know if I like get that. I don't think that was a card I could have played around. Or that I should have played around. Well, swing out. And hope they block terribly. Because, yeah, they just untap and activate Blightkeeper and I die. Alright, they're, they're blocking. That's game. <laughs> Alright, they won that game. I thought I couldn't win, and then I thought I couldn't lose, and then I lost. It's crazy. I almost want Negate. They did have a lot of removal spells. Negate seems actually pretty good, and Handy Veteran seems kind of like nonsense against them, so I'm going to make that swap. Uh, it gives me the insulation against removal effects that I thought I had with Dive Down. Sure. <laughs> now I wish Negate was that 2-4 guy, but whatever. Slippery Scoundrel. Whew, that was brutal. Okay. Just gotta shake it off, play this next game. So we can negate with, to, to remove something. We can play around and settle the records this game, I suppose. Nothing? Don't do anything. Don't do it! Okay. Okay. We need less lands here. <laughs> I think I'm just going to run this guy out on turn 3. If I draw a 2 drop Merfolk, then I can pump him and the Merfolk on turn 4. Not Bishop's... No, I just said not Bishop's Soldier. Okay. Well, when we ascend, these cards will get good, but as of now, they're pretty medium. I got a Grey Ogre and a Bounce. Definitely not going to block. Okay. Huh. <sighs> Go. Gotta block something. So what we're trying to do is set up River Herald's Boon on our guy, and then we can negate any spells that they might have. Not great, but it's all we got. Your creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. You gain two life. I think I just bounce. They can recast it, but then it doesn't do anything against my two two. And then negate is still up to trade for a removal spell of some sort. Pump my guy. I take 3 down to 15, then they replay their 2-2, but they can't really attack into my guy anymore. 
So that means they don't have the minus two, minus two spell, or... I guess they could still have the three mana removal spell. Dusk Legion Zealot, sure. Card seems good. I think I need to wait a bit for Kumena. It is a 2-4, but I really would like to have Negate up so it can survive. Also, I'd like to have Merfolk in play when I play it. So I'm going to take three again. Yep. Yep. Ugh. All these dudes. What is that? Holy cow. You put that on top? It's going to be a beating whenever it hits in like a million turns. Alright, island or... that works. Yeah, I can't believe he didn't hit that last game. Island. I'll put you on top. Go. So I will trade my 3-2 with their 3-2. Alright, I think that's worth negating, because I kind of need this guy to block. I kind of just have to make this trade here. Pump you. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I need to start attacking. They're gonna unleash that huge dude very soon. So they can like triple block, but it's not very good for them. Oh god. Okay, that's not good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're one land away from just utterly destroying me. I already played one of my bounce spells. Take three. <laughs> Cobble the wings. Sure. Are we racing here? Hit for six. Then I take one, two, three, four, five, six. It's really their only shot. All right. I have to win before they draw a land, which is very difficult to do. Block here. Uh, oh, geez, okay. All right, we need something real good. Um, so I can make these two unblockable. I don't think I'm winning this, as a side note.
So I can hit for five, then they gain some back. Or I can just draw a card. What happens if I do this? I block here, I take one, two, three, four, five, six. No, that doesn't work. All right. Hitting like this. Go. It's like, I don't want them to draw lands, but I also can't <laughs> let them draw spells. I think that's, that's how you know you're losing. Okay. Well, I can't let them gain any more life. So I think this I have to block, and then I'll just draw a card. Oh my god, this is. <laughs> tapping is so slow. There we go. <laughs> Land is not good. I just need to get rid of their lifelink. It's my only shot. Yep. Something? Nope. Yeah, that's game. Alright, kind of disappointing finish to that game. But that's okay. See you guys in round three.